470. Okay, so we're talking about scarring, we're talking about wound healing, we'll continue this tomorrow, but I just want to tell you that the, the trick to scarring, once a scar forms, it's there. There's no, you're not getting it, you're not getting rid of it. A scar is typically the result of a, the deposition of hard tissue. It's the body's attempt to prevent re-injury of that same wound. The, to the body, a scar is actually protective and it's a good thing. The key to preventing a, the key to, uh, the key to not getting a scar or, or eliminating a scar is not getting it in the first place. And the way you do that is by using vitamin C on top of the skin, possibly oxygen therapy or ozonated oils. Making sure you're well nutriated, of course, is also very important. There's a, a few other nutrients that you could use topically. I'll tell you about that tomorrow as we continue talking about wounds. And this is all as it has to do with nitrogen and arginine. There's actually something that you, that you can do involving nitrogen. Nitrogen gets turned into a very, very interesting molecule. Sometimes you'll hear, you'll hear commercials for this very interesting molecule. It's involved in the healing process. It's also involved in helping the heart work more effectively, helping the circulatory system work more effectively. This is a molecule that's involved in male sexual performance. In fact, there's advertisements that run on the radio that talk about this molecule as being a some kind of some kind of remedy for erectile dysfunction and, and male sexual issues, male sexual problems, I should say. Uh, we'll tell you about all, all of that tomorrow and the next day as we continue talking about arginine and nitrogen as it has to do with building the body, keeping the body healthy, and even wound healing as well. Okay, our number, 855-660-4261. We do have a couple lines open for you. Let's go to Chris in Texas. What's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side, Chris. What's up, buddy? We got Chris. Chris is going once. Chris is shy. No Chris? Okay, we'll put Chris back on hold here. And then we will go to Rose. What's up, Rose? Welcome to the Bright Side. Thank you, Ben. God bless you. I was going to ask you, I know of a person that uh, he he's not a bad person, okay? He just went for some kind of sports event and... This crazy guy, I don't want to mention their, his nationality or the person that is too evil, started shooting at uh, the owner of the place and et cetera. Okay. Well, this person got him, tried to reach the one one of the people that got wound, trying to, I guess it was unwise in that way because of the nature of the beast in that moment. And... Uh, Rose, I'm not understanding. Are you saying this guy has some kind of wound? Did I hear you yeah, say? Yeah, he got injured by by a bullet when he tried. Oh my goodness! Oh gosh! To so somebody how, that, that, it, that hurt. Where did? So the, the wound is uh, is open, and I was hearing that you mentioned about this uh, fibroblast, collagen yeah. fibroblast. Is that? Well, well, here's the deal. When you have a wound that won't close or won't heal, there's there's several things that you want to do. First of all, if you shoot me an email or have him send me an email, I'll send him some of this wound healing cream. Uh, give me, it'll take me about a week, though, to get it out to him. So just send me an email, and I'll take care of that for you. Uh, you. There's a couple things that you want to do, though, internally. Make sure he's getting enough vitamin E. This is very important for wound healing, 400 to 800 international units a day. In fact, he can take up to 1,200 international units a day of vitamin E for a short period of time. You don't want to take too much for too long on vitamin E because you might get a little diarrhea or loose stool, but he can definitely do 800 to 1,200 IU of vitamin E. I, vitamin E is a tremendous, tremendous wound healing vitamin. I mean, unbelievable. But you've got to take very high doses of it, and you don't necessarily want to stay on high doses of vitamin E for too long a period of time. But for people who, who have burns or, or like you say, somebody who has some kind of trauma, a wound coming from a trauma or acne, if you pop a zit and you have this big welt and you need to heal it up real quickly, internally, vitamin E is spectacular for accelerating healing. Now, if you have any kind of digestive problem, you had a gallbladder removed or your liver problem, you may not be absorbing your vitamin E, so take your vitamin E with food and take it with your ultimate enzymes as well. In fact, it's just a good idea to take vitamin E with ultimate enzymes and food no matter what. But uh, vitamin E is just unbelievable for helping accelerate the healing of wound internally, not topically. A lot of folks will put vitamin E topically on wounds, and it doesn't work anywhere near as well topically as it does internally. Vitamin C uh, internally is very important, and topically as well. That's, that's one of the main ingredients in my wound healing cream is vitamin C. I also use omega oils, omega-6 oils, and making sure you have 
enough essential fatty acids. The ultimate EFAs is also very important for wound healing. Make sure he's doing these. His ultimate EFAs, uh, I would be doing three, three times a day, nine of them. Uh, zinc, also very, very important for wound healing. 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate. Uh, you should be on that anyway, but definitely if you have some kind of wound that you're trying to heal. Same with vitamin A. Vitamin A is a building vitamin. It's a skin vitamin, and it also works in, ha- in tandem with zinc. 20,000 international units of vitamin A a day. Uh, vitamin A is also really neat to uh, topically to prevent scarring, and you can use vitamin A cream topically as well as vitamin C cream topically to help speed up healing and prevent scarring. And then he may also want to try some of that ozonated oil, Rose. You can go, you can go on the Internet and look up ozonated olive oil or ozonated coconut oil and apply that directly to the wound. Or even if the wound is deep enough, he can go have that uh, topical hyperbaric oxygen therapy done where they'll stick the wound or they'll uh, shoot oxygen right at the wound if they can stick it in a box. Like if it's an extremity, a leg or a foot, or I'm sorry, a leg, foot, hand, arm, that kind of thing, they can stick it in the box. Otherwise, they'll wrap it up in plastic and they'll shoot oxygen under the plastic. It's called topical hyperbaric oxygen uh, therapy and you can Google that. So there are lots of things so you can do for wounds. Deep breathing, that will help him. Say again? Deep breathing. Oh, of course. That's always good. That activates the healing system. Remember, you've got two nervous systems. You've got the emergency nervous system and you've got the relaxation nervous system. Healing is regulated by the relaxation nervous system. So anything you can do to activate the parasympathetic nervous system, the healing, relaxing, growth and repair nervous system is in your interest when you have any kind of wound. That goes without saying. That's, yeah, you uh, mentioned that yesterday. That was interesting. Yeah, that's Thank very that's important for everything. Thanks so much for your call, Rose. Appreciate it. All right, we got Chris in Texas back on. What's going on, Chris? How you doing, buddy? Hey, man. My bad. No, some pro- phone problems. Man. No worries. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I had a question because my mom is allergic to peaches, and the BTT 2.0 is peach flavored. So peach I know flavored. Do I don't think she'd have a problem. Hang on, though, because that's a very good question. We're going to help a lot of people with that. So hang on. we got to take a break, Chris. Don't go away. If you're on hold, stay there. We'll get to you when we come back. We do have a couple lines open for you at 855-660-4261. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Hi, this is Dr. Joel Wallach, the Dead Doctors Don't Lie guy. Have you ever wondered why farmers can keep their livestock lean and healthy just by feeding them minerals in a nutrient-dense diet? Before markets, they cut off their minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains to fatten them up. So if weight control is this easy, why does the medical system prescribe invasive surgical gastric bypass for humans? The truth be told, according to research, you can avoid over 900 different diseases just by getting 90 essential nutrients daily. Check us out on the web at sonsoflibertyteam.com and order your healthy start pack and get your 90 for life. Or dial 855-301-TEAM. I said essential, not optional, and every day. Easy. 90 for life on the web at sonsoflibertyteam.com. Or call 855-301-TEAM. That's 855-301-TEAM. That's 855-301-TEAM. Check us out on the web at sonsoflibertyteam.com. At sonsoflibertyteam.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. At 30dayfoodsupply.com, you can now purchase a -a one-of-a-kind product not available anywhere else. A meatless burger dry mix in four delicious flavors. With our new Oregon Trail Foods vegan burgers, all you do is add water and fry. They need no refrigeration. They're packaged in Mylar bags with an oxygen absorber for a long shelf life. They're non-GMO. They're gluten, soy, nut, and chemical-free, but they're loaded with flavor. And a good source of carbs and protein, yet low in sodium. Flavors include Italian, spicy Mexican, 
Mexican, six vegetable, and black bean olive. Go to 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010 and order today. Eat them every day. Take them camping or save them for an emergency. Check them out at 30dayfoodsupply.com and click on the vegan burger icon. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where all of our products are produced in Oregon by Oregon Trail Foods. 30dayfoodsupply.com For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com. And be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. Headlines, suspensions, FCC investigations. That's man cow for you. Here and here, GCN. Back on the break side, got a line open for you, 855-660-4261. We're talking to Chris in Texas about the BTT and peach. Uh, Chris, your, your mom is allergic to peach. As I, that's, that's how I understood it, correct? Sure. Sure. Okay. She gets uh, stony lips and itching on it. Okay. Okay. Now, here's the deal with allergies. Typically, allergies, and there are some exceptions, but typically, they're only to protein. So, a peach... And all foods have protein in them. And when your mom is allergic to, to peach, what she's allergic to is the protein component or, or something in the protein component of the peach. The flavor aspect of the peach has nothing to do with the protein. Flavor molecules are typically some kind of, they're different than protein molecules. So she shouldn't have a problem with peach flavoring. That's a natural peach flavor, and, and it's I would be shocked if she was allergic. I don't even think it's possible for her to be allergic to flavoring, but you always want to test things out and try it out for herself. So I would give it a shot, but I would I would find it highly unlikely for her to have a peach allergy, uh, uh, an al- allergic reaction to the peach flavoring. Now she's pro- if she has a peach allergy, she's got to stay away from peaches. But it's not the flavor component of the peach that she's allergic to; it's the protein component of the peach. Okay. Oh, okay, and so. With that, with that allergy, it be passed on to me as their son. Say that one more time. I didn't quite understand that. Will that allergy get passed on to like her sons and daughters? Not necessarily. No, that, not as, it could possibly conceivably, but not necessarily. No, she can. The kids can be fine with it. And you got to be. You got to make sure. Is it a, a real allergy? You sure it's an al- allergic reaction? It's, is it a digestive? Or you said her lips swell. Did I hear you say her lips swell? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. That's an allergic reaction, but it doesn't necessarily mean that her kids are going to have a problem or her, any of her relatives are going to have a problem. You're just going to have to see. Okay. Does she have allergies to citrus or any other any other fruits, or is it just peaches? No, it's just peaches, and I, I think, I think it's in fruits in the same family too. I don't think she's gonna. I don't think she's gonna have a problem with it at all. Give it a shot, though. That's the best way to find out. You got to, you got to test things out yourself. But theoretically, she shouldn't have a problem. Oh, okay. And uh, my second question was, uh, how much taurine do you recommend? 100 milligrams a day. Hey, there's, no re- there's no real way to know, but 100 milligrams a day, and you probably want to take it at bedtime, or if you want to calm down in the middle of the day, you can take it in the middle of the day. It does have sort of a calming effect. It's really effective if you have seizure disorders or if you're doing a lot of caffeine. In fact, Red Bull uses taurine to kind of take the edge off of some of that caffeine. So you can do it in the middle of the day, but it may, may make you a little bit drowsy. That may be a good thing. You might just want to be relaxed. I personally take taurine at night. 100 milligrams. Yeah, because I see most uh, most sellers uh, they sell it for 1,000 milligrams. Sorry. No, that's that's quite a bit. I wouldn't take. You don't need yeah. to take 1,000 milligrams. 100 milligrams should be plenty, or 200 milligrams if you want to take a little extra. But you don't need more than that. All right. Can I ask oh. one more? One more. Sure. Question? Sure. What's up? Um, will food intolerances or allergies have the same effect always? Like. 
when I eat uh, peanuts, I seem to get always constipated. <laughs> Um, yeah, that, that's, that doesn't, if you're sure that it's connected to the peanuts, that's not an allergic reaction. That's, a, that's an intolerance, uh, and that might be something to do with the digestive system. I haven't heard of that before, but that's not inconceivable that that would occur. If you're sure that every time you eat peanuts, and the only way to know for sure is if you just eat 